Challenge. Well, what is that before I take it? Um, so the challenge is, basi so is basically um, uh, the paper of our party. Um, which, which party? It's a paper of um, I don't know, the Re paper. revolutionary communist newspaper. Yeah. Huh. So basically, we're of course we're about um, defending um, immigrant youth and any any. Um, immigrants and of course we uh, fight for the working class as well um, anything that basically will attack working class people uh -huh. whether it comes to um, whether it comes to like um, cutting um, benefits for workers or wages or defending workers abroad whether it comes to imperialism and um, war and you, you, you're, you're throwing around all this war it's like imperialism or communism okay, okay so let, let, let me slow down so, so let, let's start uh, you know okay. from the very beginning okay it's a revolutionary communist newspaper of progressive labor party yeah. why why communism okay so um there's a variety of things so at least from what we use history as an analysis to basically uh, make our per to basically construct our perception of the present so for one we we basically say that elections will not help us so elections will not help us elections will not help us what we advocate for is for workers to so come wait, 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 let me try to understand yeah. you're saying elections so 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 in other words we don't need any elections in this country because is that your point what, what i'm saying is that we don't need politicians we can do everything for us amongst working class people whether it comes to uh, um, what's the definition of working class then so working class is basically laborers so people the people they create everything whether it comes to manufacturing service uh -huh. health any of those things like any of those things we don't need um let's say for example people that are like like are, managers oh, we don't need like managers bosses. we don't need bosses we don't need bosses we need managers we don't need bosses and managers so for example all those things can be decided amongst workers themselves uh, workers. how's that gonna work so for example let's say you're a worker and i'm a worker so, so let's say we decide to to do what so for example let's say we give you a, a decent picture let's say yeah, let's turn around okay, because the sun, the sun is going okay. this way so let's say for example instead of having a boss like run a factory and we were and we were and having a boss a supervisor a manager uh -huh. workers would run the factory so for example we would decide those decisions democratically and everybody but, but how let's say practically how, how it's going to happen i mean how, how do you envision it because i'm always baffled when i hear things like that okay then the workers together collectively yes. are going to run you know businesses right but it's going to be a business for profit right you're going to make so a profit when, so make money we, right we, we what we advocate against also is against the profit motive as well profit so no so, profit no profit no profit so basically the way things will be allocated is uh, amongst need amongst need and basically uh, for human need instead, instead but, where, where, but where will you get the things that we need for human consumptions, for human need. I mean, who's going to decide what to create, when to create, how many to create? I mean, uh, how is that going to so be accomplished? All of that, so, okay, so all of that uh, can be decided. By who? By working people. So okay, let's say you and I, yeah. we're both working people. Yeah. Okay, so we wake up in the morning, okay. and what do we do? So here's the thing, is the reason why that's even hard to imagine is because of the system we live in now. So we can only... We Tell, well, let's yeah. say you want to change it, right? Yeah. So how are we going to start the change? So in other words, you want to change from capitalist into what? Something you said? Communism. Communism? Yeah. Communist. Okay. Yeah. So uh, how will you accomplish that? Changing capitalist system into communist system? So at least... What's the transition? How will the transition happen? So at least what we advocate is for direct revolution. Actually. Revolution? Yes. Meaning military violent revolution? The revolution. Military yes. violent revolution. Yes. Because. With blood in the streets, <laughs> with the workers. Uh, uh, ransacking the factories and taking over those bloody imperialists, uh, uh, wealthy imperialists uh, who employ the the so, workers, right? I mean, so again, the like, laborers. That's that's how so it's going to happen. The reason why we say, it, or the reason why we even say it like that, is because um, for one, um, history has shown us that anything that has been, like in terms of actually seizing, like getting liberty or freedom, uh -huh. never done by just. Um, Never done just by just like doing it peacefully, kumbaya or not. So, which means that you assume that we have no liberty in this country and no freedom. Is that what you're saying? So, our, our freedom and liberty is, I would say, delusionary. So, this is delusionary. Illusionary. So, for example, like for the like the real decisions, whether it comes to like who gets what or like how um, the big decisions are made when it comes to. 
we're not really included in that discourse. We, we who? We, um, people, regular, regular people. Working. But, but who are regular people? I mean, uh, let's say if you're managing the factory, are regular yeah. people or not regular people? So If the, you're a CEO, so are you regular? So what is, who, who's to decide? So here's the thing, in terms of what's decided between, like what's a boss and a worker, a uh -huh. boss is an actual owner of, a of business. capital, of capital, yeah, like okay. actual, actual resources. In term, in comp like if you can manage your supervisor, that doesn't necessarily make you a boss. Like it doesn't Okay, but if you're a small businessman, you have okay. like five employees, ten okay. employees. So you're the boss. I mean, that's your company. You created this company, this successful company. It's, okay. you know, it's making a business. It's, it's employing ten people. What are you going to do with the boss, the owner of the company, who has 10 employees? What are you going to do to him okay, or her? So here's the thing is like, even if, even if um, you're paying like, like five or 10 people, like um, something like that doesn't have an actual like gigantic effect in the, like the system or in the system. So for example, let's say if um, you're the owner of um, whatever, you're the owner of Exxon Mobil, for example. Like that's a, that's something that has influence and power okay. over, over the system. But where there. do you draw the line? Uh, a hundred thousand employees, fifty thousand employees, a thousand employees, a hundred employees, line, ten employees. The line uh, who, the, who who is there to decide? The line where it's drawn is basically um, when people are like, for example, like the disastrous effects on people and environment, um, and amongst the. Uh, amongst working class people like for example like something like that like just being a small like say for example owning a bakery and uh -huh. just being like the manager or owner uh -huh. like, doesn't really have like a, a gigantic effect amongst everybody overall and we're talking so you're gonna touch them you're not gonna touch them so they're not they're not there's, there's, so, so, they're, so there's, you, yeah. you're talking about the revolution i mean yeah. again getting back to where we started yeah. so you want to change the system from capitalist to you said communism right and it has to be a violent revolution where you arm yourselves, I mean the communists, yeah. and you take over those evil uh, capitalist uh, imperialists. So that's that's a program. So here's the thing is like, in terms of, I don't like using like the term like evil or anything like that. Okay, but let's, let's remove the word evil. Let's say okay. imperialists. The, ex, ex, the, uh, exploi the exploit, exploiter the, yeah. or exploitator. Yeah. <laughs> so you get a, you're gonna, what, take care of the exploitators? I mean, isn't it something that was tried actually like 100 years ago, exactly 100 years ago, in 1917? Yeah, that's been done. I and mean, it's been what, done what, before, but- what, What's the, the end least, result? So at least the thing is, what we try to do is take lessons from that, and of course, we, we have to be um, very self, very critical of like the blunders and mistakes that they so made. So how will we do it differently this time around? So, for example, one thing that what we do, do have- for? What What media? Uh, it's my own media, YouTube. Put it on YouTube? Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, the thing is, like, you're from South America, right? No. No? I'm not from South Originally, America. Originally? Where you come from? What, what do you think? Huh? What do you think? I came from the former USSR. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. By the way. So do you yeah. think Putin inter interfered with our elections? <laughs> of course he does. That's ridiculous. <laughs> he's, he's from Russia. I'm from former USSR. I'm not from Russia. I live oh. in Russia. I live in the USSR. There's a big USSR. difference oh, okay, between the two. Okay. Yeah. Are you from a satellite or from mainland Russia? Uh, from Moscow. From Russia? Oh, wow. Moscow, yeah. Okay. Well, just be aware how we use racism in this country to divide people. There's no racism in this country. There's no racism in There's this country. no racism in this country. Oh, you're hilarious. There's absolutely, you're a funny man. Look well, at the numbers of people in there's, prison. There's, listen, listen, no, listen, listen, listen. That's the ridiculous. reason they kill one black and Hispanic no man every 24 hours. There's no the fact that, no that the black was elected the president of our country by the white people tells no of course there's no there's no race official government sponsored racism in this country it's not existent right or wrong <laughs> hey so you see what you want to finish how my government is um so how yeah so what What's your plan? I'm really curious, you know, to see how 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 are we gonna learn that we st we stop that you learning the lessons from uh, you know previous revolution. This is your fellow Marxist, I see. Yeah. So so how how are we gonna do things differently this time around? Because I lived, I mean, you heard that yeah, they're saying I know, that I lived in the USSR. 
from so, you, what part did you come from actually? Moscow. Oh, so you come from Moscow. Moscow, so, exactly. For example, um, around like what time frame did you like? I live there in U. Uh, that's why yeah, I. You know, that's I'm, what I'm saying USSR. And yeah. I didn't live in USSR until I was like five or six or ten. I left USSR when I was 29. Okay. By 29, I finished and, school. I finished college. Yeah. I experienced whatever the Soviet citizens, adults, yeah. had to experience. Yeah. All the horrors of living in the USSR, being uh, summoned to Lubyanka headquarters, being pushed by the KGB. Yeah. Actually, I mean, I can tell you lots of horror stories about okay. living over there. So now, how you are going to do it differently this time around? Okay. So what's your plan? Everybody, try to move forward. Okay. So one thing, at least, try to bear with me here. But like, you're asking, you're asking for like a blueprint. Like yeah. detail, but no, that's, like, and that's okay. But the thing like is, a like, general, yeah, general blue, very, very general. Okay. I mean, what's gonna do for? Where do you start?